Hey, what's going on guys? It's Donnie's Donuts here. Welcome to game number three as the Houdons tied the series after a tight 2-1 win in game two. Who takes a 2-1 series lead? As welcome to the Houdon Center in Charleston for game number three of this series. And so the the two games in Moscow, they split the two games as they're as the Houdons are home now for game number three. Here we go. Game three is underway here in Charleston as Hedman's going to bring that puck in. As who? How's the goons going to respond to this loss? As now Gordon gets it back. Wilson, as the goons got it in early here, one timer that's blocked. A Sockham shoots, loose in front of the net. As the goons are all over him here to start this one. Wilson shoots, rebound. Loose in front of the net. Oh my goodness. Oh, as they keep, they get the Houdons hemmed as they go aggressively after the Houdons here in this game three here. As they, as they just put everything on net the goons have. As, so, they already have full pressure here as now one there is now poked away. Sockham's got it. As all oh, look at this four check here. As Hebben shoots, loses for a rebound. They score. Alex Earl, what a start for the goons. As oh my, he found that loose puck in front of it, and he just banged one in. That's how you score in the finals. Look at this. He just they just aggressively went after them there. Found the puck as he got the rebound there, and the goons have a one nothing lead here in game three. Yeah, he found the puck and just got it over. And so, what a start for the Goons. Not even two minutes in, the Goons have a one nothing lead. So, how can the Houdons respond to this? As obviously they have the home crowd in front. You think they have the momentum, but the Goons... What a chance! And they score! Oh, what a the response! The Houdons have tied it! Oh my goodness! As that, would, that didn't take long at all! As... The Houdons just bring it in, and Ovechkin found a way through, and their first shot on net is a goal. Look at that, and what a move there, and he just got through Steve Mason. Look at that, one hand on his stick, he got it over. Look at this, as he gets it over to Ovechkin, and just through the blocker. So, the Houdons tie the game. Wow, what a start to this game three here. And so, the Houdons up here as now... The as now in come the Houdons, but Gordon's got it. Here comes Scotty Gordon up with the puck. As now Wilson, big hit by McFlanagan there. Oh my! As now got it there. As now battling. As now the the goons trying to get it get it back. Here come the Houdons now poked away by Hedman. Gets it over and now in comes Sockham now with the puck. Oh, just got hit off the puck. As now gets it up. Here comes Charles Houdon now. Houdon with the puck has now got it. As now across, just on side. Caulfield back. Ryan Din scores. Ryan Din gives the Houdon the two-one lead. Two shots, two goals for the Charleston Houdons. Oh my goodness! As wow, what a turn of events. The the Goons had a one-nothing lead. Now it's two-one for for the Houdons. As oh my, what a bad start for uh, Steve Mason now. As Wow, not even five minutes into this game three, it is a 2-1 lead for the Houdons. And so can the the Houdons, or can the Goons, answer one-timer in the slot. Oh my goodness, what a stop by Goss on the, as on Rock'em Suck'em. As he tried to tie the game right then, as... So face off here and now the goons trying to answer Earl shoots rebound who got the first goal for the goons as what fireworks start this game as now finding Ovechkin now Ovechkin gets drilled there oh my as the goons have 11 shots on goal as now Ovechkin stopped by Mason which was his first save of the game wow in front oh my goodness has this has been an aggressive start to this game three after such a defensive minded game two as now Sockham gets through. What a move Sockham stopped by Goss. Holy cow. As uh twelve twenty seven left in this first period. As this has been a great start to this game three for as for us viewers here. As now Earl shooting off the draw. Another stop and another face off here. Oh my, what a finals this has been, obviously. 
these two teams bring up the best in one another. Obviously, uh, as the last two seasons in the finals, they both really want this cup here. As can the goons, as now tipped all at the post. What a tip by Sockham! It just hit the post. Sockham inches away from tying this game at two. Oh my! As so with 11:47 left, as Sockham couldn't believe it. As now gets, as now they win the draw. Headman across. Oh, shooting! Is that's a good save? As now the goons have got it. Headman for the bullet from the point. As the goons have been all over him here. It's just the two shots the Hudons have went in. As the, now the headman shoots. Looks in front of the net, poked away. As just last second, but the goons have the Hudons hemmed again. As oh my, the Hudons finally get the puck out. As the goons trying to tie this one. As now headman gets it back. As now, this this is this is a big game because whoever wins it moves one win away from the Potter Cup. Sockham gets through again. Another big stop by Goss. As after the Goons made a one nothing, the Hudons came back in rapid fire and scored two goals for them of themselves. As oh my, as so face off here is one by Hudon. As now battling on the corners. They get it up. Here comes Ovechkin over to McFlanagan. Skipper McFlanagan has now gets it up across. Ovechkin all went off his own man. McFlanagan again. Oh, what a glove stop. As he might, as him, as Ryan Din, obviously, has had probably his best playoff run. He's actually the Scott Smythe's favorite for Charleston. As obviously for the Huda, for the Goons, it's, it's a toss-up either between... Rockham Sockham or Alex Earl because Alex Earl has been just as good as Rockham Sockham this season as now here comes Ovechkin off the turnover Ovechkin gets through oh good save there as now Wilson's got it up here they come in the in through the neutral zone Earl trying to bring it in but he can't do it as now up comes as Caulfield gets that puck on the on the counter trying to get it over good job by uh, Earl there to get that here comes Sockham over to Alex Earl trying to get through as now, as now Wilson's got it. Here, up back to Hedman. Back to Gordon. As good passing here. Will Hedman shoots. Oh, Mom trying to get a deflection in front. As now Hudon gets it over. Here come the Hudons now. Now Hudon shoots. As oh my. As trying to get a rebound there. The Hudons keep the puck. And now backhander is oh my. is a weak backhander. Is now back come suck him now. Earl trying to walk in, but he can't get it. As now he. Trips them up, and the Hunans go on the power play for the first power play opportunity. Goes to the Charleston Hunans. So a face-off here in the the goon zone. So can the Hunans build on this lead here? As as that's one there. As Hedman has got the puck now up to center. Here comes Wilson, short-handed. As now tr as Din trying to hit him off the puck. Oh my! Few players there, and now. Poked out the puck there by Tyler Myers. And now Hedman gets it. As now Hedman getting a chase there by uh, by Benier is now kicked up. But Ryan Dim first to the puck. And now they cycle it. Big shot by McFlanagan. As now, oh my, he could also be a, a Con Smythe front runner as well. As or Houdon. I mean, the Houdons have been great all around. Here comes Myers now with three minutes left. Short hand and he got a bit of open ice. He's trying to go blocker side. Good save by Goss. And now get as now Benier's has got it. Matty Benier is bringing it up for the Houdons. Here comes Charles Houdon. Right there. As, oh my goodness. Hammond put it in his own net. And Charles Houdon takes advantage. As oh, He didn't take advantage, but he just it just went in. And the Houdons have a 3-1 lead off of just a terrible play for Victor Hammond. Oh my goodness. He tried to clear that. And it went off his stick. Off the goaltender and in. Oh my. He must have to feel sick about that one. And the Houdons take a 3-1 lead. As so, how can the Goons respond to this? Here comes Wilson. And now in Sockham scores! What a response! And the Goons are within one just like that. Oh my goodness. Sockham just comes right back and snipes one. And the Goons are within one. What a first period. Look at that. He snipes one. So the Goons... Answer right back now, and so there's a 2:18 left in this first period. As 
So a face off one there. And so the goons are back in it. Here comes Earl now shooting as home. Oh my, this has been an offensive first period. What a hit. And now there's going to be a fight. It's Ovechkin and Wilson as real life teammates. As now, God, they're uppercut by Ovechkin. Another uppercut by Ovechkin. He is a strong. He's strong as now. So is Wilson. What a heavyweight tilt is now right. But there as now they're just trading right. As now they're just tugging at each other's jerseys now. As now, what an uppercut by Ovechkin, buddy. As Wilson returns to the right end, Ovechkin with the right knocks down Tom Wilson. And so Ovechkin wins the fight. As oh my, these two teams do not like each other. This is going to be a what? This is a wild series already. And uh, so they both go off for five minutes. As Wilson, who won the... Look at the shots, 22-8, to 8, but the Houdons have a lead. It's unbelievable. As a, So, yeah, uh, they're sending a message to Tom Wilson, obviously. It's not going to be like last season. It already isn't, because the Houdons uh, tied the series last game, as obviously Houdon won the cup last season in this very building. His old cheeky shot by Benier, trying to go short side in front. Old Caulfield can't put it over the shoulder. Now the... The Houdons are hemmed here, or the goons are hemmed, my bad. As that's as the Mason has to cover that puck up to try and get a breather. As seven seconds left in this first period. After a wild start to this game three. Has been big hits and a lot of goals. 3-2 here. As now 7.8. Obviously last season game three ended 3-2. As is already 3-2 here. And that's going to do it for the first period. As 3-2 Houdons. As what an explosive start to game three. What's in store for the second period? And now Jujar Kara in early, but Caulfield with a steal as the goons try and tie this game. Here comes Caulfield. Is, oh my, as he tried to hit him there, but he just stayed on his feet. Here comes Sakam in the zone. Back, Victor Hibbett trying to go short side. As now, but he get, he... He loses his footing. Here comes McFlanagan back the other way. Houdon's bringing it in. McFlanagan trying to shoot that on net, but stolen. Maybe a two-on-one. Hedman's in the play, but Caulfield gets back. Great job. As now uh, battling the slot there as Ding gets it up to McFlanagan. Here come the Houdons now. As now he, he gets back, and now Ryan Dim brings that puck in for the Houdons. Now battle as now Dim picks the, keeps the puck, and now McFlanagan shoots as we're... As, Kicked along as McFlanagan over did shoot scores it leaks through and the Houdons have a two goal lead once as once again Ryan Dim with his third goal of the series his second of the night as what a series for him here so far as look at that he just picked up the puck and just it just trickled in and so the Houdons have a 4-2 lead as what a game for them so far here in this game three and so the goons in a hole here in game three is obviously uh, that game two loss probably kind of hurt them a little bit and so Ryan Dean with his second goal of the night and makes it a 4-2 game can the goons get back in this once again what a game three we had we have so far as now I got it there Hedman back trying to feed it in front but he can't do it as now over to Din, Ryan Din over to Houdon. Here comes Charles Houdon now in the zone, but he can't get it there. Now battling on the corner now. As now Caulfield still got it there, but now one there. Here come the goons. And now Wilson can't get that one. As now over to Caulfield, but he gets hit there. As now battling there. Sockham can't get free. Good job there. Now Wilson right on top of Houdon. He gets the puck. Now trying to feed it in front. As now Oh my, can't get it. Here comes Cole Caulfield now with the puck. Caulfield with the puck. In shoots! Oh my! Loose in front of the net. That kind of... That was a, a rolling puck. Cause that was a hot shot right on uh, Steve Mason. He kind of had trouble with it. And now Gordon the other way shot that stop by Goss. And now back and forth now. Here comes Houdon in on the defense. Great job by Victor Hedman to not let them get through. Earl's got the puck now in the zone. Earl over to Stockham as the Goons have not lost two straight games ever since they lost the cup back in uh, season 13. Back to oh, What a stop by Goss! Oh my goodness! And it was to this very team as well as they lost games 4 and 5 
to lose the cup as but they won the cup last season after losing only one game all playoffs but they've lost already two games as obviously they lost game one in in the third round and lost and lost last game Caulfield through stop by Mason and the goons obviously uh, the Houdons have been playing very well in the this second period as obviously that fourth goal really gave him some energy as now that got it there McFlanagan that's blocked as Earl as now in comes McFlanagan between the legs oh what a chance to make this a 5-2 game but now Huda uh, Hitman's got it over to Wilson now Wilson trying to bring the puck in but uh, uh, stolen there in comes Ovechkin now in the zone but it's stolen there as can the goons get back in this one with eight minutes left in this third period or in the second period my bad as the goal scoring is kind of slowed down here in this uh, second period as now stolen by Sockham just offside though as oh my he looks pretty frustrated here obviously uh, the defending cup champs obviously in a hole here in game three as they don't want to fall down 2-1 facing elimination where they can lose the cup here as now uh, McFlanagan's got it as now over to Ovechkin as Houdon's going to bring that puck in Charles Houdon in him hit him but he can't get through as now out comes Alex Earl now with the puck. Earl with in his first ever Potter Cup final as he's had four goals in th in not even three games yet. As now gets it up. Here comes Cole Caulfield. Cole Caulfield just stops it trying to find there. What a steal by Earl. Here comes Alex Earl trying to feed Sockham. Oh my. He gets Sockham gets tied up once again. He, they've been doing a good job shutting him down. Here comes Din now looking for the hat trick here. Trying to feed it over. One timer from Caulfield. Good glove stop. They are trying to keep this a two goal deficit for the Goons. As obviously the Goons, they could still come back in this one. They are a resilient group. Obviously, resilient team. Obviously, that they went they won the championship just like that last season. As that's what they're trying to trying to repeat. Doing it here. As the one timer stopped again as the Hudons are all over him here. As the it seems like it's ice tilt in this very end <laughs> as uh, last last period the the goons were him and the hudans and this this one is the hudans are having the goons here as now one there Ryan Din shooting as that's off the stick and wide as now Caulfield gets trying to get in there and now back the other way comes Earl trying to make this a one goal deficit Earl in on Din Din with a good play there is uh, now battling there they got it as now over to Caulfield. Cole Caulfield over to Ovechkin now. Finding Hudon. Maybe 2 0. And Caulfield and scores! What a snipe by Cole Caulfield. He gets the glove side as he broke free of the defense and the Hudons have a 5 2 lead. Oh my goodness, what a snipe! As he just walked in and sniped one. And the Goons allow five goals here as. Oh my goodness. Unbelievable. As so, as I believe it's the most goals they've allowed in a game this playoffs. So, the Houdons. A 5-2 here in game three. Unbelievable. Here comes Houdon again. Trying to make this 6-2. They've just played unreal this game three. Probably the, this is probably one of their best efforts they've had all playoffs long and they've won every single game up until game one but they've only lost once as trying to make this trying to win two cups in three seasons as now gets it back McFlanagan from the point they had just been all over the goons in this period as once again covered up by Steve Mason so the Houdons have caught up in time and attack here as obviously they've been all over, like I said, they've been all over the goons here in the second period. They win another draw. McFlanagan won a stop by Steve Mason. As you got a feel for him, he's just been getting peppered here in this game, in this uh, second period. Finding Sockham. Oh my, couldn't get much room there. Wilson back. As now the goons, one timer off the stick. As, oh my, as Earl trying to get this within two here. Here comes Houdon. As keep in mind, the goons scored first here. As now Caulfield threw a good save there. As now got as now Earl's got it up. Here comes Wilson now with the puck. Wilson can't get through Ryan Din there. 
As they're finding their Earl in shoots blocker stop what a stop as with five seconds to go and that's gonna do it for the third or second period. What a period for the Houdans. As the third period is underway and the Houdans with a 5-2 lead. Can the Goons somehow find a way to come back? Here come the Houdans. Rebound, they score! What a start to the period for the Houdans. And now they are up 6-2. Oh my goodness. As I don't think the Goons have been beaten this bad before. Oh my good In the playoffs at least. Wow. As look at that rebound shot. And... Oh my goodness, as what a game the Charleston Houdans are playing. Unbelievable, as look at this, he got the rebound there and just got it by the pad of Steve Mason there. Oh my, as the Goons are in a deep, deep hole in this game. I don't think they will come back from the... Uh, so now if you're the Moscow Goons, you're going to have to try and just... Um, just try and gain momentum for the next game. As now the their backup is now in the goaltender Morgan Mutri, who th they just knocked out, had to play as back. They had to choose a backup for this game, obviously, and they chose him as even though they they just beat him. And now Scotty Gordon shoots and oh it went in. As is that gonna? Oh my! I think that counts too. As Tom Wilson just pretty much head butted that into the net. As look at this. As look at the. As he just shot it up in the air, as I believe they're looking at it, but I don't think anything's going to... Let's see. Or he he headbutted that into the net, as I don't think it was it. I don't think he meant to do it, though, which is because... So it's going to be a good goal, and the goons are back within three. As so, yeah, the... The goons, obviously, they get a lucky break there right after the Houdans made it 6-2. to two. So, yeah, I think that's going to count there. As they're still looking at, but no, they're not going to do anything about it. So, this goal stands. It is a 6-3 game now. As, so, the goons, I mean, they, they if they can get another one quickly, anything could happen. Here comes Tom Wilson in the zone, as he can't get it, though. And now Mi skipper Mick Flanagan brings it up to Caulfield. Here comes Cole Caulfield, gets hit off the puck. As now Hedman's got it up to Wilson now. Tom Wilson, the, the guy who made it 6-3 after headbutting it into the net, which you don't see every day. <laughs> As, uh, here comes Sockham over to Gordon. Here, now Scotty Gordon gets dropped. But, and now here comes Houdon. And now Houdon's in. Oh my, is he probably did too much there. As now uh, Alex Earl's got the puck. Earl across, as tr feeds it across. Rockham Suckham can't get one. As the 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 Houdans or the goons, if they want to come back, they need to get one now. As now Caulfield sh shoots that's blocked. Caulfield battling beyond, beyond the or in the corner there. As now Suckham Caulfield wins the battle. He walks out and scores. What a goal for Caulfield! He won the battle. As there was two players, he won it from Suckham. And I believe Earl as well, and he snipes one. Blocker side just over the blocker, and the Houdans have a 7-3 lead now. Oh my goodness. So the Houdans have, they are playing very well in this game. This is probably their best effort, like I said earlier. Their best effort the whole playoffs long, again, and in the finals, and... But it's looking like now the Houdans are going to go up 2-1 in the series and have a chance to win the cup at home next game. as the, And it could be the last game of season 15. Wilson trying to get within three again as they're just trying to get some momentum. Now one to, oh my, that was going to tee that up. As so the Goons, obviously for game four, they need to regroup and put together their best effort maybe of their season because... I mean, you need to win two straight, and against the Houdans, winning two straight is very hard as well. As the what the Houdans just did it to the Goons. The Goons will well, they haven't done it yet, but uh, the Goon is looking like it. The Goons are going to lose two straight games. As now here comes Earl now. Alex Earl trying to feed it in front, but he can't get it though. As now, but the series ain't over yet. 
Th these two teams are so evenly matched as, as obviously the Goons were down last series as well against the Blasters, and they came back in in Bangladesh and won, and won at home then. So, like I said, it's not over yet. Here comes Suckum now trying to bring it in. But under 10 minutes to go, Wilson has got a Wilson. One-timer from Suckum, and he gets stopped again by Matty Goss. Oh, my. As uh, Suckum obviously uh, has two goals in this finals here. Obviously, he... He got. I know he has three goals in this finals, as he got. Uh, he got one goal in each game. As uh, he got one in game one, game two, he got the only goal for the goons and got this one within one when they were up three to one. As now the goons or the Houdans are bringing on more pressure here. Shot from the point from Ryan Din now. As now Wilson's got it now. Tom Wilson got it over to Earl. Alex Earl walking in as he gets a... Oh, my, he missed the pass beyond the net. As can't keep the zone. As now Gordon's got it now. As, uh, yeah, this game is pretty much over now. As the Houdans, obviously, they play... They are they deserve this win, obviously, because they are playing... They played so well in this game against the Moscow. After starting slow... Well, they led the first goal, and then they came right back and scored two goals. As on two shots as well, as that's pretty much what set the tone for this game as well. Obviously, those two goals the Houdon scored early. As now Caulfield's got it. Oh my! As old Sakam is getting frustrated now. He just laid in the Caulfield there on the boards, and he couldn't. He can't do that. I mean, you could lay in the big hits, but like he just crunched him along the boards. As yeah, he's not very happy, and, the, and he's the captain, so he got to he shouldn't be showing that kind of emote. Like, he can't be showing that he's angry or pissed off. As so, the Houdans go on the power play now. As they are one for one. As now Earl with the steal. Here comes Earl shorthanded. As obviously Earl is a great shorthanded player. But the Houdans, they have, they have, their power play has been lethal all playoffs long. As Ovechkin in front, shot, rebound, they score. Charles Houdon makes it 8-3, to three, and that's the hat trick for Houdon there, the captain. As this is this is unreal because the, the Goons, uh, this is the worst game. This is probably their worst game of the play whole playoffs. Even dating back to last season, their worst game of the playoffs. They looked unbeatable last season as well. As uh, he got the rebound there, and the goons obviously, you had to. They have to regroup here for Game Four, or else their season, their their cup reign will end on a, a whimper. As and the Houdans will be crowned champions if the goons can't can't regroup here and put up a better effort. Here comes Earl now. Even a goal in the last few minutes might do something for them. As uh, Sockham's got it now as he gets tripped up there and they're going to get a power play here with 2.55 left Houdon goes off for tripping as uh, so the Goons can get a goal on this power play I mean they could maybe try and get some momentum for game 4 like I said as look at yeah he got tripped up there and uh, so it'll go off now for for 2 minutes or less if the the goons can score now one there now kicked up along as that's going to keep in as so Gordon's got it down low sock a back door as that stopped there so game four guys I will game four and if m5 if necessary I will live stream it because it's a, the first I used to live stream every finals game but uh, I'll only do it for the elimination games this this uh, season so, to make it more dramatic, as now Sockham's got it. But the two-on-one Wilson shoots, that's blockered away. So, I will live stream game four tomorrow, guys. As game four, the the cup will be in the building. Or the Houdons can win it here at home. As now gets it back. As now Gordon shooting is, oh my. As that's uh, covered up there. As, yeah, like I said, the, what, a, what a game. As what a game in general, really. As big hits and like the 
the first period also set the tone. Goss has 35 saves. He has just been unreal. As now Earls, oh my, as I, the Goons have actually outshot the Hudons in this game. Goss has been great, as Mason could be a lot better. As now uh, Gordon steals a shoot, scores, and they do get one on the power play. As, as the power play was ending... Uh, so it is an eight to four game as actually the power the power play just ended so the goons get one before the end of the game maybe that generates something maybe we'll we'll see for game number four as obviously uh, so yeah look at that he's he stole that off the, the defender and eight to four now as a 12 goal game after only having a Three goal game last, last in game two. Obviously two to one for the Hudans, and now it's eight to four in this game. What a change! And game one was six to three, so it's either high scoring or low scoring. These teams can score at will and defend at will. That's that's why these teams have been facing each other the last few years in the finals. They just both been great. So the Hudans with a great, probably their best effort of the playoffs. And will take a 2-1 series lead and move one win away from the pot from their second Potter Cup in three seasons, as they defeat the Goons by a final score of eight to four. As oh my goodness, so the cup will be in the building for Game Four in Charleston, where the Hudons can win the cup with a win. In game four, can they win three on three straight against the Moscow Goons and do it, or will the Goons respond and and move this series to five games? Well, so guys, I will see you there in Charleston tomorrow.